I'm Nadine from Juggle Mum and tonight I'm showing you classic spaghetti carbonara the Slimming World way. Behind me on the hob I have a pan of boiling water and my spaghetti is already in there and um, actually because I've got not much left of spaghetti I've also used a tripolini, tripolini pasta that's going in too with my spaghetti just to bulk it up because uh, I ran out of spaghetti. So that's what I'm doing there and then I've also got a frying pan heating up on the hob in front and in there I'm going to be putting 100 grams of back bacon cut into two centimetre strips so I'm going to be putting that on in just a second I've already measured the um, weight of the bacon now on Slimming World you must always remove all visible fat so I've already cut that off and I'm just preparing this into two centimetre strips which I'm going to then fry off in there uh, you just spray a bit of fry light into the pan, which is this one, and this is sin free on Slimming World. I also have four large eggs, lightly beaten, in my bowl there, and I have four garlic cloves, which I'm going to crush into the mixture later on. Uh, so once I've gone ahead and done all that, I'll show you how I assemble the dish. So I fried off the bacon, I added the four cloves of garlic to the pan and stir fried for 30 seconds. Now I've drained off my spaghetti, I'm adding it to the pan, mix that in. And then what we do now is we're going to add our eggs. Now the heat from the spaghetti partially cooked these eggs but leave them moist. So add that in. Lovely. Give it a good stir, add half your parmesan, uh, it's 120 grams of grated parmesan. So I'm going to add that in there, give it a stir. Now this only needs a second. This only needs a second, I've just turned the hob off um, because the eggs will partially, the spaghetti heat will partially cook the eggs and just leave it nice and moist. I've added the grated parmesan, it's a very quick moving dish so I've turned the hob off so that I don't spoil it um, but normally I would just get on with it because uh, stopping to do a video is quite difficult in the middle of this recipe. Um, all we do now is divide it between four serving bowls and sprinkle more of the grated parmesan on top and that's the meal done.